Welcome to M Squared TechCast. Uh, we'll have with us uh, Vic Kopang, who is the CEO of EMP Defense, and I was just introduced to his company recently, so I had to do a little backgrounding on it to find out, uh, Vic, uh, what exactly you do, and it's it's uh, lightning strike technology or anti-lightning strike technology, essentially, right? Yeah, exactly. It's uh, lightning suppression. There you go. That's uh, the better <laughs> word. So, so it, uh, it basically, uh, this device actually el eliminates the threat of lightning in a protected area. Huh. And a little small correction, I'm not the CEO, but I manage an independent sales force. Our company, which is uh, the Mid-American Group in Newport, Michigan, okay. owns the license for distribution. For the state of Michigan or? America, South oh. America. Canada, et cetera. Well, okay. dang, huh? All right. A little so, bit of a sales territory there. Yeah, just a little exactly. bit. So, so how does, uh, tell us a little bit about how it works. I'm, I'm intrigued because I've always been fascinated by lightning. As a kid, I used to sit on the roof of my parents' house and watch the lightning storms well, roll in from the southwest. You put kites with keys on them. Yeah, too, right, right, right so exactly. Yeah. You and, showed and, Ben Franklin how to do so it. So how do, you, <laughs> how, how do you keep that from happening? Uh, that's a very, very good question. Um, this device eliminates the threat of lightning in a protected area, almost like a capacitor. Mm -hmm. and I'll read the, the actual uh, uh, definition. But the CMC technology constantly balances the electromagnetic field, eliminating the conditions that allow for the creation of upward streamers and steeped leaders, thus eliminating the lightning strikes within a protected area. Hmm. Incidentally, we just received the Underwriters Laboratory stamp of approval. But basically, it eliminates the ni negative and positive charges that create lightning. Right. Now, I have season's tickets for the University of Michigan, and I have been in the big house over the years, or maybe three or four times we've had lightning within 20 miles or whatever the thing is of the stadium, and then we have 110,000 people all headed for the same exits at the same time. Now, would your technology eliminate that issue? Absolutely. In fact, I think one of our representatives is working with the University of Michigan just on that subject. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have four, three or four units installed at the Great American Ballpark, mm -hmm. which is home to the Cincinnati Reds, mm -hmm. because they understand the threat of lightning affects fans, uh, infrastructure, players, etc. And this product eliminates the threat. It's, yeah. it's a phenomenal, phenomenal product. Yeah, because at U of M, you're sitting on aluminum bleachers. That's right. Well, yeah, and, and I remember a, a game at Spartan Stadium once when uh, when the state was playing Western, and there was a lightning storm that moved through in the second quarter, and by the time they got everybody out of the stadium, the storm had already passed. Oh, yeah, so it sort of defeats the, you know, that was sort of what, defeats that, the purpose. Yeah, you know, I, I sit near an exit, but uh, that was the same thing. Each, yeah. each time they made us evacuate, by the time we all got, and we couldn't be underneath the bleachers, we had to get out in the open ground with a lightning storm. Yeah, never made and a there's whole a lot of sense. There's a lot of trees around that yeah, stadium, right. too. Yeah, great. Yeah, go stand <laughs> so, under a tree. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so is it a series of, uh, I mean, is it a, an, an electric, you know, electronic uh, a machine of some sort or a generator? Or? That's okay. the device, if you can see it. It weighs about uh, Looks like 14 R2 pounds. D2 or it does something. almost. Yeah. It's made out of aluminum and, and uh, plastic. Why don't you it's, hold that up again for the camera? So uh, it's patented. Uh huh. And we take these Your hand with is it. kind of covering it, so. There you go. Better. We, we take these uh, on presentations, et cetera. Uh-huh. It's manufactured in Paraguay. Interesting. Um, Interesting. And yeah. we have the we have the uh, uh, ability to distrib distribute it here. So but, if it so if it detects a negative charge in the air, it sort of pumps positive ions into it, the air, it, that it, kind of thing, it just, or what? It eliminates the positive and negative charges that actually create lightning. Okay. This, it, so exactly. absorbs them, exactly. huh? Well, because I know, I know what causes lightning is where you have, I think it's a negative charge in the ground and a That's positive exactly right. charge in the cloud. That's exactly right. And it's, it's essentially the same thing you get when you touch a doorknob after you rub your feet on carpet in the wintertime, right? That's exactly it's, it's, right. All it is is static electricity, yep. just really big. Yep. So, yeah. We have uh, the coverage area depends on uh, the application, uh, but it depends on uh, who wants what area protected. For example, the CM, CMCU 120 is, is about <clears throat> 120 meters. Mm-hmm. You take a dot and go out 120 meters in it as a radius, mm -hmm. draw a circumference, and that's the area of protection. Mm. Okay. CMC 55 is about uh, 55 meters. CMC 55 is a smaller unit, protects high-end residential homes and boats and yachts. Mm -hmm. So the applications are, are tons. So you just, yeah, you put a ring around, a ring of these things around an area and, and you know, protect it that way, right? That's we do what studies with anyway. regard to where you want protection. It's basically... Any organization or company that wants to protect people or assets. Mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, we have over 8,000 installed, no reported failures. Okay. None. 
Now, does this thing have a power source? It requires None. a power source? No, sir. No. no sir. Wow. Okay. This is installed three to three to six meters above your highest point mm -hmm. on the structure. We have three installed down at CMS Energy in Detroit, which five or six years ago they had lightning strikes to the tune of five and six hundred thousand mm. dollars. They installed three. They've had no strikes since. They've mm. also been able to measure the lightning strikes around them, so they're totally protected. So in the case of the U of M Stadium, since we've been talking about that, it would be on top of the skyboxes, your highest point, that's where you'd install them? Three to six meters above your highest point. Yeah. That's exactly right. Okay. But the applications are, you know, any person or company or organization that desires lightning protection, you know, talk about wind turbine generators, mm -hmm. those big windmill, they're, they're very, very expensive. They almost attract lightning. Mm -hmm. We're doing some tests with GE to uh, have them installed and then test them over a period of uh, five or six months. Mm -hmm. The applications are, are phenomenal, and it's pretty, pretty exciting. We think that eventually, eventually, this may become the next standard of lightning protection. Huh. So who installs these things? We do. Okay. Uh, Mid-American Group installs them, or there will be local contractors on site. Uh, price includes for the larger units, about $17,000 for a price of one. Smaller units, which is the marine and residential, is about $7,500 plus installation. But there are quantity discounts. And we're also looking for people with distribution channels to sell to their customers. Uh, we, we basically uh, have a small independent sales force, but we get a lot of information from referrals and information from the website, trade shows, et cetera. Who, who invented this? Uh, it was in, invented by a group in Paraguay, mm -hmm. uh, EMP Defense. In fact, they're going to be coming up here next month because we're actually going to be installing tests on wind turbine generators. So they're, they're a very phenomenal partner, highly educated. They're scientists, highly mm. uh, have a lot of degrees in, in technology. So it's, it's fun for me. I've always been associated with quality products in my career, and this has given me a chance to uh, represent something I really believe in. Yeah, I know we have a lot of wind turbines in the thumb area of Michigan. Exactly. Mid-Michigan, Mid -Michigan too. Mid-Michigan. Like Elma, Elma, Mount Pleasant, Over by area. your old stomping grounds, too. Don't you yep. have some over there? Yeah, yeah. Up, okay. up in Bad yeah, Axe. Up by Bad Axe, Michigan. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I hadn't thought of that, but yeah, I guess they would all they are, a gigantic piece of steel. So I guess they would attract lightning. They attract lightning, they? and they're expensive. And you know, when, as a cost of a lightning strike, um, it's the lightning strike and the damage, but it's the downtime, the yeah. loss of revenue, right. the insurance premium, oh, yeah. the deductible, etc. So if you can eliminate that threat, the price is well worth it. Now, do you guys do finance? Because for a homeowner, seventy-five hundred is a yep. you know. I mean, Matt's a wealthy uh, guy that works for LTU, but for the rest of us, <laughs> uh, um, the, uh, answer, the answer is yes. Small nonprofits, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. We're partnering with a company called Gray Bar Electric out of St. Louis that does the financing. Yep. Uh -huh. but we're also setting up a local bank here that's going to provide financing locally. So we have a customer on Orchard Lake Road uh, that was going to put one on his house, but at seventy-five hundred bucks, it's a lot less payments per month over four or five years and writing a truck for 7500 It's also plus the installation. What, what does that typically run? Installation for a home is either about 1500 to $2,000. So we're 10000 out yep. the door kind of thing. And you're protected. Right. Mm. Protected. Yeah. Okay. So what, what is your background? How did you happen to get into the, this field of uh, selling uh, I, these I things? was lucky enough to run into the uh, company that owns the license, mm -hmm. and I met them a friend of a friend. My background has all been sales and marketing. Uh, I grew up at Xerox. My last job was I was the CEO of Detroit Thermal, which is the energy company downtown Detroit. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. I retired in 12, and you know who has too Board, much money? Eh? All that stuff. So I found these folks, and I'm really <laughs> excited because this is unlimited. This goes all over the country. The basic uh, high-density part, part of lightning is from the Mississippi east and south. Florida is a lightning. By the way, our, yes, last, our, yeah. our last big installation was a, a church in West Palm Beach called Bethesda by the Sea. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, that's where Donald Trump was married. But they, it's a very high-end church with a high steeple that got struck by lightning. Now, it's, now it has an EMP defense and eliminates the threat. So the target market, basically, are those people that have experienced lightning. They don't want it again. So this is a very good product to eliminate threat. Yeah, I mean, how many volts or what, what's the, the charge of lightning is some incredible yeah, number. it's like right? 5 it's, million volts or something. Yeah, or more. Like yeah. Yeah. And it's very dangerous, and, and when it strikes... It creates havoc. Yeah. yeah. So I have to put them on Mar-a-Lago next, right? That'd be a candidate. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, know. everybody that wants to eliminate the threat of lightning for assets or people mm -hmm. should contact us. Sure. Cool. Uh, and so uh, is the commercial market your bigger market? I mean, there's more residential, obviously, but the commercial, I would think, would be 
the first up, right? Yes, no? Commercial market, is, is we lead with the commercial market because that's some, those are the most expensive assets. Right. Bigger offshore drilling rigs, oh, and industrial, yeah, industrial yeah. parks, wind turbine generators. Mm -hmm. uh, but expensive, you know, homes, three, four hundred grand and up. Mm -hmm. This is a 10-year warranty. By the way, there's no maintenance. Mm -hmm. uh, we best basically uh, require that whoever installs it checks it once a year to make sure it's a attached to the ground. Right. But there's no maintenance, and it gives you total protection. Wow. That's the key. That's the key. So does it draw its charge from the ground down, or is that, is well, that how it, it works? Kind of, really, it, it, the, the charges that are there, whether they're positive or negative, comes at the device, and, they're, and it's sent to the ground, and uh, and that's basically it. It's not, it's not attached, not plugged in anything. So it's like a lightning rod on steroids then? Almost. Yeah. That's okay. exactly right. All right. Gotcha. That's exactly huh. right. Interesting. And then uh, let's get back to, so you're trying to work with folks. Uh, what kind of, uh, if, if folks were going to offer this in their sales portfolio, what What's your target for that? Who would, who would those companies be? Um, electrical contractors. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a uh, distribution channel on the East Coast that provides uh, lightning production to boats and yachts mm -hmm. in the marine market. So anybody that uh, can access their customers or protect their customers, obviously they'd buy this at a quantity discount. Uh, we would make sure they're trained, uh, inventory, whatever they need, mm -hmm. um, and provide assistance that way. But uh, it's a great opportunity to, to add to their portfolio. That's what I'm saying. And it's also maybe have something that nobody else has. Right. Yeah, that would be important. Things. And on the, on the residential side, I would think high-end custom home uh, builders also. Yeah, I mean, anything, you know, it dep depends. Sometimes uh, people have not such an expensive home, but the contents are very expensive. Yeah. So it just depends on, on the valuables. But it's a way to, you know, when you go to sleep at night, you don't have to worry about lightning. Yeah. You've had no failures. That's mm. really important. Mm. Well, it's about the same price as a whole house generator, so I guess you could uh, <laughs> get them both at the same, get them both time, at the same right? time. You, you wouldn't from, have to worry about too much power or too good. little power. Yeah. Exactly. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, we got about two minutes left. Anything we didn't ask you you want to point out? Um, again, the, the, the most receptive markets are those people that have experienced lightning mm -hmm. and don't want to happen again, mm -hmm. and those people basically that write a check. Mm -hmm. Lots of times uh, we'll, we'll talk to uh, engineers about the product, and the questions never stop. Yeah. I mean, basically, they're, they're very intrigued by the product. They're very familiar with the old Franklin lightning rod. Mm -hmm. This is better. And so uh, we think it's uh, we've got a, a real leg up on the market. Anybody that's interested in a distribution channel, mm -hmm. uh, independent reps, get a hold of me with regard to uh, an opportunity, and I can discuss that with them. All right. How do people get a hold yeah, of That you? would be the next question, uh, yes. My email address is just vickcopang at empdefense.us. You might want to spell your last name. It's V as in Victor, and then K-O-double-P as in Peter, A-N as in Nancy, G, yep. at empdefense.us. Okay. Or call me at 313-421-9529. I'd be able to help you any way I can. Okay. All right. Well, thanks very much, Vic Kopang of EMP Defense. With Additional four-year students love Lawrence Technological University's thriving campus life. But LTU has always met non-traditional students' needs, too. Lawrence Tech offers over 100 degree and certificate programs that can get adult students started or back on track. And most of our classes are conveniently offered evenings at our beautiful Southfield campus or online so you can balance your social, family, and work life even while you power up your career. Lawrence Tech, where blue devils dare.